MHS back in session, episode 8, ULTIMATE EXPULSION! Only three people will understand what I was trying to go for there. <laughs> to be honest, even I don't really know what I was going for. <laughs> yeah, I'm wacky. But anyway, someone's getting expelled. Expelled. <laughs> so, let's see who and for what. And what makes it so ultimate? What are we gonna do? Blow him up? And there'll be explosion and expulsion. Different. Tim McLeod, Pop Goes the Weasel. Oh crap, this Keisha girl. and Regina. They are back. They're back from two months of suspension. I said in the past that get one last chance to behave themselves. Given the title episode, the they're not going they're to. Gone. The bitches are back. I wouldn't be surprised if they cause another fight with any of us. Have you read the title? Music choice doesn't make this does make this more tense though. Oh my god. What? I gotta tell Principal Moonlight about this. She will be pissed as shit. As soon as I noticed the folder that's falling off of Keisha's backpack, and I ran over to pick it up, I noticed the photos that are absolutely terrifying. What, she had some master plan or something? Son of a bitch. Holy shit. What? Oh crap. Keisha Gibson. She plans to murder Jessica Andrews. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Keisha, she's given one last chance, but now she crossed the major line this time. Sarah she's Jace committing a crime by planning to murder a certain student we know and love. It's absolutely scary and heartbreaking. So, what's gonna happen? We have no choice. Keisha attempting to commit murder and we don't know Even we're jumping to conclusions, we can't take the risk. Mimi has to come up with a plan as a solution to this scary situation very fast. So, I have this plan. We'll kick their asses. During second period, I will call the police. Once the police arrives, you bring Keisha to the main office and have her wait there until we're ready to get her ass arrested. Understood. It's a good yes. plan. Alright, back to work. Jace, do me a favor. It is now second period. Now's the time to send Keisha out of the picture. I really hate to tell you this, Miss Andrews, but we thought we'd let you know because you're the victim here. I didn't think that was gonna happen, but what Keisha's trying to do is unforgivable. Yeah. She was just mad that she got suspended for calling JoJo the N-word, and Keisha takes it out on me. Keisha messed up big time. Ridiculous. We're so over her. Hi, this is Principal Moonlight from Moonlight High School. I like to order an extra large cheese. Oh, sorry. We'd like to report Keisha Gibson attempting to commit murder to a student. First, Heather and Amber were the main targets of bullying. And now Jessica because of Keisha crossing the major line this time. But I'm not going to let that happen. We're going to show the police the evidence and Keisha's got to go. All right, bring her over here. Have her wait here. Miss Andrews, you come with How us. How are you guys doing? Keisha's actions yeah. really caught up to her so fast. <laughs> Jay's using his and telepathy powers. <laughs> Probably some voiceover stuff. Arrived. I need to tell them what's been happening and show them the evidence. So just wait here, Miss Gibson. Not now. Maybe it was that guy. Jason, that guy has no similar what's voices. Going on. We have to keep her waiting at the main office. Until we're ready to have her ass arrested. I said not now. She took my camera, stay off. away. We showed them the photos of Keisha. Planning to kill Miss Andrews. A senior student who is a class of 2022 valedictorian. Alright, let me just bring her in here. Keisha Gibson is a fucking criminal. Miss Gibson. Well, not yes, but... I'm bringing her into my office, where I have police waiting for her. I'm thinking I guess it would go under battery, question, in Gibson. a sense. 
Good riddance, you fat fuck. She knew she was in trouble. Once we walked through that door. Keisha, were you threatening to kill Miss Andrews? Tell me the truth. She said. Yes, I was. The cops reaches into her pocket and her backpack and pulls out an assortment amount of weapons. She even confessed to stealing a blade from her older brother and she mentioned about him bringing it with him to go camping with his friends and his girlfriend who's autistic. I almost had a fucking heart attack. I don't blame you. I'll, gi I'll give her this if I can give her any comment that she doesn't deserve. She didn't lie. An 11th grader in which she's never going to graduate next year. She's never going to graduate, period. She's doing the time. I immediately expelled her for good. So now we have Regina taking her turn. Could she be working with someone? If she was, it could be anyone. The person she came back I'm with, assuming maybe. It could be Regina. I don't know. Good riddance. <sighs> Regina is still at the rest, but hopefully she maybe will turn better way. After all, she didn't she didn't go along with her, so maybe it's possible, you know. Or she's just saying we're gonna be a villain in another story. I don't know. That went towards zero to a hundred like that. Like you know, you, okay. So the bullies come back. Okay, things are gonna be a little tense, but you know, hopefully things can, can be okay. You know, not good, but back to normal at least. Not that normal was good, but you know what I'm trying to say, right? Right. And it, you, you didn't think murder was on the table. <laughs> Oh god. Talk about a freaking overreaction. It's called out and immediately thinks, I'm going to murder now. This sounds like a reasonable thing to do. Lock her up, throw away the key, and put her in some, like, one of those rooms with the freaking padded cells. If I can give her any compliment that she doesn't deserve again, it's if she didn't lie behind and be like, No, 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 I swear I can, I promise. Yeah, yeah no, no, yeah, yeah, she just said yeah right away. Not that it redeems her character or anything like that, I'm just trying to be like, if there's anything good you can look at her, be like, yeah, I did, okay. Well, she didn't lie. Not that she didn't lie, she didn't deserve to go to No, fuck! <sighs> Gunner or criminal, maybe that was behind the scenes, like, not just like in the series or something, like, she probably stole something. Because, uh, saying the n-word isn't a crime, but... Trying to kill someone is, so yeah. Or planning to kill someone is probably a crime, so yeah. Eesh. Uber serious. I guess it was short. <laughs> I don't think it would have been able to last like an hour of that sort of thing. It's like, ooh. Whew. At least she was taken care of and no one got hurt. That's the most important. We all got out of this. Well done, Mimi, for taking that so expertly. And good job to the real world Mimi for making that so tense and yet managing to take care of that with like very with no one actually getting hurt. Good job all around. Okay. Later. <sighs>